Welcome back guys to CryptoFollow channel. Today we'll talk about Bitcoin and Algorand. What's going on now on the charts? Let's jump in. So first of all, I don't recommend you trade it tomorrow and today also because uh, tomorrow we'll see the initial jobless claims and today we'll see new speech from Jerome Paul and you remember the reaction on Jerome Paul's speech yesterday. So here's dump pump dump so nothing special on bitcoin i'm still waiting the 27 zone and it will be around like this one so here here's the top here is support and the 27 zone it's 2130 or 300 or even drop to 250 uh, to 0 0.61 lower by feeb and it's more than real to see this dump and we will be still in the uptrend so uh two 20k and 600 uh, it's around here it's around 0 0.5 level by feet so it's more than healthy to see this correction now of course we got the weekly gap on the uh, uh, weekly time frame you know this one so maybe we should come back and test it uh, the most positive scenario for crypto if we test 19 and 300 close 50% of the, this gap and never come back to these levels again. So it will be the most perfect scenario if we can see the continuation in April. The most uh, also positive scenario if we just retest 21k with a weak candle, a lot of people open short position, then we come back and start trade in this wedge to our target. What I showed you in previous video is here uh, middle line of uh, channel. Uh, over than 61 level by FIP, it's 31, uh, 700, or we can just test 28. So we don't know, we don't know uh, the future. So we just can work with the current situation on the market. So now I don't recommend you trade even on a short, because uh, like you remember yesterday, we saw this crazy, this crazy pump, dump and pump. So all position is liquidated. People open short. If you not fix your position here, you get a liquidation on uh, 50 leverage or, or so. So what's going on now on the Algorand? Uh, let's take a look on uh, FIP still relevant. And now I, 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 can, I can say most likely we can see the manipulation once again. So here we got a gap, a weekly gap. I remove my alert. Uh, we got a gap here weekly. So most likely people wait the test of this gap fulfill and open long but it can be manipulation and these people can be liquidated also because under this gap we get a new one we get a this one small one gap and the second one bigger this one uh, around 78 level by feet and uh, 86 level by feet it means most people just by psychology what they do here's a gap it's weekly and we not so far from this gap. Uh, it's kind of risky also open uh, short here because yes, of course we can test it, but we can make it more like this one and test. So two, uh, 20 cents, uh, 20 cents and zero seven it the uh, fulfill of uh, this gap. And a lot of people open long here, add limit orders to open here. But I think we can see something like this one and all these longs will be liquidated once again uh, because uh, in march i don't think so we will see some positive news on the crypto and if we liquidate all these longs we will be still uptrend still in an uptrend even if we test uh, uh, 78 level by feeb uh 19 cents 19 cents it will be good it will be good to test this one 50 percent of this uh, a uh, weekly uh, gap and never come back this uh, level again so it will be healthy. The most terrible scenario, you know, if we make a move like this one and go and crash to 78 level by feet globally on a weekly and a monthly time frame. So now everything in play and I'm not trade now. I just wait the confirmation. So for me, I just need to see the reaction. Definitely we will grab this liquidity. So liquidate all stop, stop losses. Yes, of course we can see that this scenario but most likely what I would like to see this scenario and liquidate once again all longs, all long position. And if we take a look on uh, VPVR, most tradable zone, 
was here at 23 low by FIB. 23 cents, uh, 38 low by FIB, sorry. Uh, so this was the crucial support level and now it will be the crucial uh, resistance level for algo uh, like you can see here almost zero volume to buy in this area that's why most likely we can pass not a one candle but uh, it will be hard for longs uh, and the most volume is here under uh, 86 level here but I don't think so. We will see uh, 16 uh, cents again. So most likely we can see something like this one. And in this area, the big players start accumulating once again. So now I don't trade. I just wait the confirmation. And maybe by end of March, I am start looking to open some position. Of course, now we can't try to catch some uh, trades on one hour time frame, on four hour time frame. But for swing trades, I am better wait this zone where I can start uh, fill my bags with uh, algo once again to our targets to our targets you you remember it's uh, 38 cents 45 and zero level 53 it's a middle middle term targets for the next few months few months so even with a retest of 19 cents it's uh, over than 190 uh, percent so it's good uh, even on the spot. So guys, I hope you like this video about Algorand. Write this comment what you think about this current situation on the market. Do you think we can drop to uh, 9 cents again or we already passed the bottom? Write this comment. And don't forget to join my Telegram channel. See you next time, guys.